welcome to the conference on responsible innovation. Of what importance is it that this conference is taking place today? Um, I think it, it's really important to bring all the researchers in the MVI community together because although the, the topics are really very diverse, but we share uh, some underlying issues irrespective of the applications that people are working on. I think that's really what binds us and I think there's a lot of room for exchange. So I think that's why it's very important. Most important is that we look at how our research can contribute in, in practical areas in society. So not only uh, creating three papers that end up in academic conferences, but also look at how do these different stakeholders or parties actually, uh, how do we contribute to their processes and vice versa. I think that's in a responsible way. I think that's the, the aim that I'm, I'm looking at it. Bye. I'm telling you this to say that we are singularly unintelligent in designing the rules under which pharmaceutical companies operate. We make the rules as citizens and through our governments and we have to make the rules in such a way, I think, that pharmaceutical companies have the right incentives that what is of social value and what is of private value to them, namely their profits, are well aligned. What do you think the importance is of a congress like the one that's being held today? Well, I think that uh, when you think about innovation, uh, we have to think not only about particular innovations in particular areas, but we also have to think about how we can make innovation happen, how we can create an environment, a regulatory and uh, overall environment in which innovation thrives and also in which the right innovations thrive, because which innovations one gets depends on how innovators are rewarded and therefore incentivized. What can be gained by having a conference like today? Well, I think what's really interesting is to try and uh, bring together those different ways that we think about the design of systems. So in the past, we thought about systems as pretty much uh, technological problems. Um, and uh, an engineer could provide a very elegant technological solution to a problem, but without necessarily having considered the impact that that will have on things like the ethical goods or values that we want that system to provide, or the legal compliance that we want um, people who act within that system or who operate that system uh, to have. Is there anything particular you um, hope to gain from the Congress? Well, the interdisciplinary exchange is very important, so in that respect I expect some exchange of ideas between engineers, between philosophers and between social sciences. Um, you don't mind being filmed right now. <laughs> well, thank you for asking. Thank you for asking. Uh, I do. You do? Don't. <laughs> you don't. Because this, this is what we're going to talk is. about. Uh, we're going to talk about uh, digital operation uh, recording assistant or whatever um, uh, DORA means. And uh, do you have any opinions about the Congress in general? I assume you think it's a good initiative and you'd like to see it more? I have the feeling that here a new community, a new research community is emerging which comes from some existing communities such as technology assessment, ethics, science, technology and society studies. Uh, some engineers are here. So there is a new community emerging and I think conferences as this conference are ideal points where for, for meeting and for, um, for developing ideas, ideas further. And so I think it is a, we are um, in a process well, this conference is a big step. What we're going to do is we have some statements and uh, we're going to ask everyone to choose a side, which means yes or no, or it could be no or yes. You who would like to comment on that? You know, to say that the man in the street is somebody who doesn't know about innovation is, is very strange. It's about asking the right question. If you ask somebody, do you need Twitter? Everybody says no. Do people want to communicate on a very regular basis? They will say yes. And that is one of your problems here in the academic world, that you always ask the wrong questions. How do you feel things have been going so far? I think it was a wonderful conference. Uh, it was very good to see how all the different projects came together and uh, to see the first results of, of many of the projects that have started uh, a couple of years ago now. 
So um, this is going to turn into an annual congress, and you hope to repeat this uh, event next year. Yes, we have. Uh, we envisage uh, uh, five of those conferences, uh, with one f- big final conference, and 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 every conference will have the best papers published in a book, so that we will have the results uh, in in a tangible form uh, to be disseminated and spread uh, into the world. Mm-hmm.